All right. Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another exciting episode of Traversing the Veil. And I have got like a hair or something on my face, and it's driving me nuts. All right. I hate that. You probably have a lot of hairs on your face, though. I do, but I try to cut most of them off. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then randomly, and this is a just a random thing, you'll get, like, one long hair that grows out of, like, the middle of your cheek, where no other beard hair grows. Like, my beard mm -hmm. stops about here. And then randomly, like, right here, just have a long mm -hmm. hair. No idea where it came from. It's nearly invisible. It's secret stealth covert ops hair. It's there I, to kill. I usually, I usually have that somewhere Impressive. on my neck. I was like, "Where the fuck did you come from?" Inch and a half. Oh, hair. I've had. I remember having like an inch long silvery hair that just came out of my left earlobe. Like I just woke up with that one day, and I've no clue where it came from. So, hair follicle. So, uh, <laughs> if anyone's wondering, your hair is attempting to kill you. Uh, mm -hmm. You can, you can take that guarantee to the bank. Uh, <laughs> we, just, we just have to find the red skull that it's all connected to and then destroy it. <laughs> the views and that's, a, that's an Inuyasha joke this, right there. Um, in this. Oh, I got it. Life, play do not reflect anything culturally relevant <laughs> or accurate. Uh, so announcer moments. Um, <laughs> finally got a notification from the Sentai and Sensibility people. I have the PDF of Sentai and Sensibility. Um, oh. I very quickly perused through it. It looks adorable. Um, so there's that. Nice. Um, yeah, I was... I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to run a Sentai and Sensibility uh, adventure, but I think... I freaking uh, love that name. Well, I need, I need to invite Dale. I'm pretty sure I need <laughs> to invite Kiri uh, and probably Angelique. Like, I think yep. that would be massively fun. Um, so, yeah, that's this, 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 this is something. Um, other and then an announcer moments. Um, uh. I don't know if I mentioned it here. I think I mentioned it in my, my other uh, game. Um, Ionheart, uh, the uh, solo focused tabletop RPG where. You create two characters, a human and a giant robot mech friend, and then explore the galaxy to become better friends. Uh, <laughs> they met their funding goal, uh, and um, yeah, they they met it like by an order of magnitude. It was amazing. Uh, so that is going to become a thing as soon as they finish writing the damn game. So mm. I'm very excited about that. I can't wait to see where it goes. Um not next week, but I think the week after. I got to look at a calendar here. Yeah, not next week, but the week after. Uh, early access to uh, the 2024 update to yeah. DD Fifth Edition goes live, um, and unlike every other early access that they have done, uh, you no longer have to buy the physical digital bundle to get access to it. If you have a Master's tier subscription on DD Beyond. Um, you uh, and you uh, order the digital copy anyway. You can get the physical digital bundle. You can just get the digital version. You get access to it next week if you have whatever the thing below master's tier is. Um, you get Literature. it the week after. Uh, and then if you don't have a, a subscription, you just have a free account for DMD Beyond. Uh, you get it uh, after that uh, once you p p p purchase it. So. I've already started seeing, uh, because uh, the physical books were at Gen Con last week yep. or the week before, uh, so people have already s -s 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 started uh, talking about it. I saw Ginny D just put up a, a video uh, where the title mentioned that she was going to try and build a character with the new rule set. Um, I haven't watched it, so I don't know what she actually does in it. Um, anyone that does have a copy from Gen Con, be careful about what you show on your stream. Uh, or in your videos, because there have been reports that... Uh, people, were getting, people were getting struck. There's talk that this was supposed to have been corrected, but I wouldn't put... I would not bet on it. Yeah, I, still... I mean, technically, uh, and this is something that I think a lot of people are just un unaware of, 
Uh, mm. Technically, depending on how much you show and exactly how you are, are showing it, the book is copywritten. Uh. Um, you know, this is, this is how copyright law works. Uh, so if you're just sitting there and like showing everything in the book without any sort of commentary or critique about it, you're going to get in trouble. Um, my understanding was the people that were getting copyright struck were struck uh, by someone that was being a little bit overzealous uh, that had access to the Wizard of the Coast uh, or Hasbro accounts. Um, and it was not meant, it was, it was not supposed to happen. It was someone that didn't know what they were doing with too much power, uh, mm. which describes most of corporate America. Uh, yeah. yeah. But anyway... Uh, in a couple of weeks, none of that stuff is going to matter because it's going to officially be out in the wild. Uh, and then a couple of weeks after that, everything will be live. It won't be early access. It will be available to everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I have avoided most of the discussions around it because I want to look at it with as fresh of eyes as I can. Uh, but the things that I've been unable to avoid or have intentionally not avoided, monk stuff. Um, mm. What cannot be unseen. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I've been uh, impressed. It sounds, it sounds like a nice update. Uh, it looks, uh, to me, it looks like it's going to be something that's going to breathe new life into 5th edition. Give it at least uh, another like three or four years, if not another five to, to, to ten, which would be nice. Um, as of right now, uh, D&D 5th edition is the, uh, I believe it's the longest lasting uh, edition or second longest. Um, because, what was it, second edition lasted, I think, for 11 or 12 years. So yeah, it's, it's pretty close to being the longest officially supported uh, 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 edition. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, I think we talked about it in the last one because this may be a different audience. Geek and Sundry looks like it's returning. Uh, they made an announcement, uh, I think last week, um, announcing that they were doing uh, a new uh, live play show slash pod podcast uh, entitled uh, Sagas of Sundry Goblin something? Goblin Mode. Goblin Mode, there we go. Um, so we literally that is all we have other than a, a quick teaser trailer which basically says that um and uh explains that it's going to be uh gm'd by amy vorpole um gave us uh the names of the three players that i can't remember any of them because names are really really hard and the only reason i know amy's name is because i knew her name before i was put on benzos so uh, but yeah, really, really exciting news. The Geek and Sundry website actually works now. It used to just redirect to Nerdist. Um, so we have no idea what that's going to be. But uh, they're partnering with a, a company called, I think it's Realm or Realms, um, that specializes in creating very high production value p -p 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 podcasts um, and very story oriented p -p -p podcasts. So. Yeah, excited to see where that giga goes. Geek and Sundry is the reason all of this exists. Like, the reason I got into YouTube, the reason I started creating Viva videos, the reason I got into D&D &D and everything else, blame it all on Geek and Sundry. Um, so, yeah, if, uh, if this is actually a return to form for Geek and Sundry and not just a cash grab by unscrupulous corporate people, then I will be very, very happy. So, yeah. Any other announcement events going on in the tabletop RPG world? Um, maybe not something as grand scale as that, but for the first time ever in my TTRPG life, I finally own my very first dice tower. <laughs> I was at I was at the Fan Expo convention in uh, in Rosemont this past weekend. This that's is a three cool. D printed dice tower that's all steampunk. You put the mm -hmm. dice in the little cauldron and then you just oh cool tip it in and then it just falls out right there. So cool. Very cool. This this was a birthday gift because my birthday was also this past Saturday at the same time as the con. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. I I am now the big three six. Damn! Hey, watch month. Um, and uh, damn, all of us th are the same age. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
Um, this this dice tower was actually Fuck the back. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, Those are waiting. Hey, Jody, woo! <laughs> this, All this us young was... chickens here, and then good old Uncle Imp. Uh, oh, this no. dice tower was actually Granted, the backup plan. My wife people. wanted to get me in a selfie with Roger Craig Smith, who was one of the oh. guests there, who, if anyone doesn't know, is the current voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I, I love anything Sonic. But um, we underestimated how much in demand he was <laughs> yeah. for the weekend. So, um, and yet, it was strange, because right next to him was uh, Samantha Baird, the voice actress of Carlack in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> We saw her within like three minutes, and she is so smice. She is tiny. She is Aww. a tiny woman, and you would not think that that deep Amazonian voice would come out of the little thing like that. And then, uh, and then we made my wife cry because we got to meet Fred Tatascore. Oh, um, nice! Who voices her favorite character in the Netflix show Troll Hunters? Arg. Who um, he said one word, and almost made her cry. Just of how much she loves that character. But yeah, that's all I got. Dice Tower. Dice Towers are fun. There's lots of... I've, I've seen some really, really interesting ones. I had a Dice Tower. Oh, I still do. It's... Um, you can barely see it. Uh, but next to my D&D board games, there's a little ah. castle there with a little dragon in it. I can kind of see it, so. yeah. It, uh, it actually operates as a Dice Tower. So They're fun if you like towering your dice <laughs> i'm 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 seriously considering getting the uh dropout uh box of doom i don't know if you're aware of that nope. every time all, over on dropout the shows over there dimension 20 uh when Brennan Lee mulligan every time like okay well this is a this is a, a trepidatious kind of role we're doing here so i'm gonna bring out the box of doom and he brings <laughs> out this dice tower it's a giant skull <laughs> with like craggy mess and all kind of stuff, but they actually have like a GoPro in, and it's like so they actually will show the dice rolls going in there, but they'll also show it in front of everybody else. And the, if the fine details are, it's a giant skull. It's like Skull Mountain kind of scenario, and you're putting the dice in the top, and it rolls down. There's also like tiny little skulls inside the <laughs> inside the cave, the cave cavernous areas. Jeez. But they actually it's, do sell it on their merch site. I've been, sounds like, like a very Brendan Lee Mulligan thing to do. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say the same thing. Well, it's been so, the first time they did Fantasy High. He's, he busted that thing out. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff uh, could be going on there. Did that, for some reason, I thought Dropout did something recently, didn't they? Uh, they've made a lot of uh, announcements for well, shows mean, coming out. They're always doing things recently. Yeah. But, um, yeah, cool stuff could be going on there. Uh, if you missed it, was it yesterday? Some recently there was a thing called the puppy bowl and it was adorable. Yeah, oh. puppy roll. Puppy roll. There we go. Puppy roll. It was a bunch of voice actors playing their D&D dogs. versions dogs. of their pets, and mm. it was amazing. That yeah. sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah I have not I had a chance. Can we get turned into our pets, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll do. Uh, there was an episode of um, Dice Camera Action where uh, uh, the Waffle Crew had collected a collection of little things, uh, little animals that would follow them around because Holly Conrad was a member of the group, uh, of yeah. course. Uh, and so they did have an episode where they just played as the pets uh, because Chris Perkins is amazing. Um so yeah, maybe, you know, if you guys would actually get real pets instead of finding fully grown, sapient, <laughs> sentient beings and declaring them pets. That's how they were introduced, okay? Hi. We've got good stories. I, I guess Pitwit's going to be sitting over here like just eating a shit sandwich then. Aw, <laughs> baby. Oh, well, you would have a character to play, but no one else would because no one else has a pet that's not humanoid. Crexney? Anyway. Yes, Crexney would have Ogun. Crexney has Ogun, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I was like Jesus, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was me. Crexy's more than just a bunny lady. It's just so yes, mean. Crexy is a rise pet. Thank you. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was the out of line part. It was because that's my sister. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. I have seen you two cook together. Um, this is true. So, uh, I think that d -d 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 does it for announcement moments. Yeah. So, that means it is time for us to return to Traversing the Veil. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is nearly time. The crew members have been traveling around this city that has been under military rule due to the problem they encountered at Voxus Land. While they were there, they discovered there seems to be a lot more than just the military taking over for everyone's safety. People seem mm. to be scheming, plots seem to be becoming enacted. And the party, unfortunately, has gotten caught up in the middle of it. After meeting with a representative from Anonymous, the Assassination Guild, <laughs> the party took a job to deal with a problem. Originally, the plan was to assassinate these target before it was able to make it to a very important meet meeting. But the party discovered that everything about this contract seemed to be a setup. And if you can set up the assassination guild, well, then you're pretty impressive. So now the party is attempting to gather more information before their chance at stopping whatever is unfolding slips by. So... I thought where you were going with that is they were hired or to take care of a problem originally. They were the problem. <laughs> I mean, they still are, but... No, they, the party. Yes, the party still is the problem. Oh, but... okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, since it's been, I think, over a month what? since we've had a chance to play, uh, just yeah, kind of bring everybody back up to s -s speed. Most yeah. recently, um, you guys met with Ezreal. Um, some of you <laughs> had a longer meeting time than others, but... Uh, you informed her of the fact that this looked like a setup and she seemed rather shocked by that because Anonymous doesn't get set up. They're the ones that do the setting up. Um, mm -hmm. In addition to apparently Anonymous being involved in this, uh, you guys were approached by a changeling assassin from uh, the Aqueous Realm. One of uh, the uh, countries that is currently at war with the Tempest Sovereignty. And uh, this representative basically told you, hey, there's nothing you can do to stop this, but we don't actually want the credit for this, so go ahead and take the credit. We don't care. Uh, which was another strange thing for rival assassins to tell each other. Uh, so Also, completely antithetical to assassin work. <laughs> yeah, seemed like a, <laughs> seemed like a weird, weird uh, uh, thing to do. Uh, so now you guys have all uh, effectively decided that whatever this is, it is most definitely not uh, an important meeting that needs to go on. And the original decision that you guys made was after using inference and intuition to try and glean as much information as you can about the location, uh, you all decided that it would be 
in your best interest to get a little bit more intelligence on mm -hmm. what's going on. Uh, the mm -hmm. meeting is happening in uh, about eight hours from okay. right now. So you guys have roughly eight hours before the meeting t -t 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 takes place. And, and roughly what time is it right now? Like what time of day? Uh, morning. It is uh, it's six in the morning. The meeting place, uh, takes place at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that's where I got the eight hours from. Because that's mm -hmm. how math works. Yep. I'm very proud of my math skills. You know, I used Yay. to do advanced differential calculus in my head and now simple addition and subtraction stuff. Benzos are fun, folks. <laughs> Go off. Some people can't do addition and subtraction stuff. Oh. Or as Travis likes to call it, reverse math. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I, I six, so Apparently I his full name is Groggery. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, now that you guys are uh, aware of what happened most recently, uh, what do you all want to do? Uh, as of right now, you guys are currently um, at the dry dock. Uh, Krexny is working away on the ship and you're relatively certain that she will be so busy that she probably won't say anything at least for the next couple hours. <laughs> There's like tools in her mouth and she's like hanging off the side of the ship and every so often she'll be like ah, 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 and then Ogon will come over with a tool and she'll look at the tool and she'll go I remember ah, ah. and then Ogon will take the tool back and bring her a different one and she'll say ah, ah, ah. And then, okay. Um, remind me, and this is both Evan and Reggie asking, because as Jody says, it has been a long time since we've had a legitimate session. Did we go with? While we haven't figured out the details yet, did we ultimately go with the idea that we were going to try and warn the target to get out of there, mm. or something? Did we ultimately agree that we were going to try some version of that, or mm. if we were going to do anything at all? is you guys have not agreed on a solution yet because you, you simply don't have enough yeah. information. So the only yeah. kind of agreement you guys have made is we need to do more recon. Yeah. I mean, I think it, I think it, the concept progressed to the possibility that we have to either convince the Aqueous that whatever happens get happens or we root out the assassins and we take that assassin out. If there's just one. If there is just one. Esmiel has, has basically told you guys that whatever decision act. you make, you have the backing of Anonymous because mm. they've never been tricked before, at least not uh, as far as Esmiel is concerned. And she did give you guys access to a wand um, with two Moon charges beam. of a special version of the spell Moonbeam. And it's mm -hmm. specifically meant to deal with uh, changes. Changelings. And who currently has the wand right now? Smegwick. Smegwick? Okay. He's the most arcane of all of you guys, so. Mm. He's the leader of the bunch. <laughs> he's, you know he's, well. he's the one least likely to lose it. <laughs> that too. Uh, the, ah. yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, jo and Joshua made the fucking item in D&D &D Beyond. That too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, anyway, so again, it's early morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the uh, place where the meeting is going to take place. Um, normally, if you were to go directly there, it would take you probably the better part of 20 to 30 minutes. Um, because of all the kind of hullabaloo and everything uh, yeah. going on because of this, it's you guys are thinking it's probably going to take you an hour to get there. Yeah. But we did also learn that the enforcement in the city is essentially a skeletal crew, correct? Yeah. Um, when you guys first got here, you saw a lot of uh, p -p 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 people. Yeah. Like, there is, there is definitely, like, multiple... Um, I can't remember... The names of any military groupings right now, but multiple big groups of units were here. Um, but what you've been informed of most recently is since you guys have been here, and you guys have only been here for a few days, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
since you guys have been here, they have been removing large portions of the garrison here. Um, so seemingly they've been making it up here. Bigger. Yeah. Uh, without anyone being the wiser, they have been able to reduce the actual physical population of military personnel here without making it look like there were less b -b 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 people here. Hold the phone. I just had an idea. And I'm, I'm going to be flipping between Reggie and Evan here because I'm kind of thinking on the fly right now. So I'm going to be talking to both the party and you, Jody, because I want to just review the information that we know. So while we don't know the specific spot, you did just say, and I hope I heard you right, we, we do know the building the meeting's going to be taking place in, but mm -hmm. we just don't know specifically what room it's going to be in. No, you guys... Um... Anonymous was able to give you um, no, you're uh, uh, you're 100 percent right. You you know where the building is going or where the meeting is going to to, to take place, but um, intentionally meetings like this they will uh, they won't release full details of where things are going to go. Like they will have multiple versions of what's going to happen. And they will only decide on the exact uh, specifics of it moments before it happens as a security measure. But, so at the very least, we have the confirmed building where the real meetings takes place. And we just don't know the room or any of those details. The meeting that is happening here, you know, uh, the map that we have in front of you, you know, it's happening in that building. Oh, but uh, it is it is still, it is still a bait meeting, though, right? Uh, from what you guys are aware of. Uh, this seems like a trap. Um, yeah. You have not been able to confirm anything, but you guys are working under the assumption that this is a trap. You guys do know that this meeting was never meant to be uh, important. Um, there is going to be a second meeting that will actually be happening yeah. outside the city. Um, and that was the meeting that you were supposed to be stopping. Yes. And the intention was to kill the person here so he couldn't go to the next meeting. But this yeah. meeting in and of itself, like everybody in the city knows this meeting is happening. Um, do we know that... Do we at least know from how... From what we know of the target, mm -hmm. do we know that they're skittish enough where if things are too hinky, they're just going to call off everything and then just abort and leave? Uh, again, working under the assumption that the purpose of this meeting is to kill assassins... Um, Probably not. Um, the only thing that would make them probably call it off is if they were to become aware that the jig was up effectively. And that was my first idea, which is like, let's just be blunt and out in the open because hiding in plain sight would work in this thing. At least to me, it would. And then we just straight up tell the guys if they don't kill us for approaching too closely that they've been made get out of here the problem is anyone that approaches the building attempting to do that will just possibly quite possibly get murked exactly you see the idea i had was to possibly make a big enough sign that something horrible is happening here abort don't go to the meeting get on out of here we just this is gonna okay this is gonna be the one murder hobo idea that i have set the building on fire oh the problem is going to be that we are working. That the, the presumption is, the there, somewhere somehow, and we'll have to do the scouting. That they're going to be. That some the the assassins are going to be spying on this. I know. Yeah. That's so why I'm asking the, we, all the we, questions. We could set the building on fire. They'll probably yeah. just slander us for uh, doing it. Yeah, but we're already slandered. Or are you slander, yeah, but then, the, but like, right, they'll right, also, right. the task was also to, like, do it quietly. I don't, think, I don't think the criteria would be, I mean, I think by hook or by crook, they would be happy. Like, if, if the if the thing was turned to a giant crater, I think they would just report it was turned into a giant crater. But a simple building on fire, I don't know if that would suffice for convincing the yeah. assassins that job well done yay yay aqueous mm. you can also say if you want to if you want to get that out loud we are having a meeting with Esmiel and the rest of the party 
Yeah. At this, uh, by this point, Esmail is gone. She okay. she has things that she has to do. Again, especially since, uh, as far as she's concerned, this is the first time that someone has been able to m- manipulate yeah. Anonymous. So she is off trying to deal with the other problems that arise from someone being able to trick Anonymous and trying to figure out where the leak is and everything like that. So she's busy right now. Mm. Okay, so it sounds like the bare bones thing we should be doing, at least right now, is going to scout. Mm. All right, scout sounds like the fine idea right now. Hmm. Let's do it. So, um, uh, this is the map, so uh, the audience can see it real quick. So when you guys come, uh, this uh, location uh, is actually uh, in kind of the northern p- p- part of town, uh, but just north of like the center of uh, the city that I can't remember the name of right now, but I totally know it because I wrote all of this damn stuff. Um, and where your dry dock is is in the far kind of southwest corner of this is a city. So uh, if you guys want, you can approach from the south or the west without any difficulty whatsoever. Um, okay. You can also approach from the north or the east. It'll just take you another like 10 minutes to get there. So the first question you have to answer, where do you guys want to approach from to get mm-hmm. to start your uh, surveillance? Are there like any guards at the perimeter? Um, right now, uh, the uh, the guards are mostly just doing kind of patrols throughout the entire city because stuff yeah. is being set up right now. If you've ever seen like set up for a setup. Well, like if you if you've ever seen what happens when like. Like when I was living uh, uh, in Waukesha, uh, President Obama came to town. Yeah. Um, cool. If you've ever seen like a, a very important political figure come oh. through, that basic thing where they send security ahead uh, ahead of them to kind of sometimes they'll close yeah. off roads, other times they'll just position people. That's what's happening. This is, you know, we still have, you know, at this point, uh, a little under seven hours before it happens. So they're, you know, uh, they're moving things around and making sure that, you know, escape routes are, are uh, uh, where they're supposed to be and, and that. But nothing has really been closed down. Another thing that's that's kind of unique about this, there's no road closures. There's nothing that prevents people mm. from moving around, which is not completely out of the ordinary. The person's coming. It's like, it's not like the sovereign herself is coming. Um, this is just a meeting. This is an official government it is, meeting. It is also supposed to be a secret meeting. So, kind if of they did like ro- if they did roads closures, that would be kind of every uh, everybody uh, uh, everybody in the city knows that the meeting is happening because what's supposed to be happening at the meeting is uh, they're going to figure out what to do with uh, Exilus, Right, that's the name of the city. Mm. I knew the name yeah, of the city. Be. I wrote it. Yeah, Exilus. There we go. So, um, yeah, everybody's aware that this meeting is, this is happening. Um, and it's supposed to be, again, it's, it's supposed to be something that kind of deals with the fact that Exilos has been under martial law for all of this to the time and dealing with whatever happened at Vox's Landing, which everyone else is being told was a veil leak, Mm. um, that contaminated everybody. So... It, it's kind of been pitched to the populace that this is this is the final step they need to take in order to get the city back to normal. So it's not really like this meeting isn't a secret. The next meeting nobody knows about. But this one just about everybody knows about. First those leaky veils. Yeah, you know. Just every so often the uh you know, it, 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 it happens to ships all the time, you know. Water from like three or four miles down will just randomly shoot up to the surface of the ocean. You know? Yep. That's why you need some of that green goop that you put in tires and just whenever you see that happen, just... So, 
So anyway, uh, so how do you guys want to up, up, up approach this? I say to start things off, we had just try to get visuals on the building first and yeah. get I mean the I mean obviously the first thing we have to do is figure out how guarded it is from the outside before we can even think about what's going on on the inside. Mm -hmm. So my question still stands, in order to get visual f of the building, you have to come from one of the four cardinal directions. The two easiest are the south and the west because that's the direction you're coming from. But if you want to come from the north or the east, you can. It just takes 10 extra minutes. So. I mean, I don't see any reason why we couldn't come from the west. Okay. okay. And I say I mean, west, too. That or way the that... murder tower. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I was thinking. We, like, from the west. and then we Because the job is to scout the area, not just the murder towers. We could work our way there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, as you guys start getting closer to the b -b building, you're seeing... Um, a lot more g -g guards. Um, why doesn't mm. everyone roll me um, insight checks? Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, boy. 19. Okay. God damn it. Seven. Eight. Seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Cool. Well, you guys uh, have a possible straight. Um, whereas. Uh, yes. I broke the system. Yeah, so <laughs> Arai almost has blackjack, so I don't know how you get blackjack while you're playing Texas Hold'em, but, you know, magic. it's their own. Uh, that so, wild magic. So, Smegwick, Reggie, um, and Owie, as you guys are coming in, you guys are really focusing on the idea of, hey, let's not get caught. Um, yeah. And so every time you see a guard and everything, you're doing your best to look as nonchalant and not important as possible, and you're succeeding for the most part. Um, Arai, the IT crowd of Looking casuals. <laughs> what are you all doing? Looking casual? Um, Araya, on the other hand, as you're watching your friends tr try and mostly succeed at not being uh, objects of attention, um, you're kind of focusing on the guards themselves. First of all, person in uniform, always nice. Like, uniforms really do kind of up the attractiveness for anyone like a good oh, uniform is great uh, nice but as tailoring. yeah uh but as you're kind of watching them you're you're starting to realize that as much as your party is doing their best to act like uh they aren't there or or aren't really important uh the guards themselves are basically doing the exact opposite uh, you start noticing it's it's little things at first, like a guard coming and checking the exact same barrel three times to see if anybody is in there. Um, another one kind of knocking on a door uh, and then being ex exceedingly surprised when someone answers it. Uh, and other things like that. It, it seems like this is security theater. Um, and some of the guards are very, very good at it, but there's a few of them that this is not their forte and they're sticking out like sore thumbs and making everything else look very, very obvious. They're not trying to find anything. And as you're doing this, you're also starting to notice they seem to be intentionally leaving blind spots and entryways that someone with nefarious purposes uh, could use very easily to get much closer than they should be able to. Okay. I would like to point out um, everything that's happening here has nothing to do with anything that is currently happening in the world or in the U.S. I have had this plan for six months. So I just want to put <laughs> that out there as I was yeah. describing this. I was starting to go, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, this is not, this has nothing to do with anything. I yeah. swear to you guys. That being said. Psychic Jody. <laughs> apparently. Arai is going to like lean down next to Smegwick and go, how many more times can that guy open the barrel? It's been three times. And Smegwick, this oh. is one of those kind of <laughs> aha moments for you as well. Because again, you were very focused on ensuring that you weren't. And then you see, and it just clicks for you. And you start seeing the exact same things that Arai was seeing like this is a hundred percent a setup 
Wait, watch that guy. He's gonna get really surprised. <laughs> I need a box for that. <laughs> Hmm? I think you need a box for that. <laughs> so at this point, uh, let's give you guys a marker. This works really well because it describes you guys very well. A mark. large tentacle monster. Yes. Huh? Just like what we normally unleash upon cities. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can't find... I'm in the wrong place. I, want... I thought it was because Rai was excited about seeing tentacles. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Freak. Oh, I love this. That we'll use this yet. instead. Because I just like... This is one of the free... This is one of the new free art assets. And I just think... Little Aww. chibi bard is amazing. Love it. All right, so this is where you guys are currently, and I'll make her a little bit smaller so she fits. Oh, so this oh, is where you guys wait, are currently. Hmm? Uh, and so the audience can see. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's right there. So, um, so that's what you guys have discovered as of right now. Um, uh, where you guys want to go next? You can you can check buildings themselves. You can try to get up to the main building here. Uh, like everything everything on this map, I've thought about, kind mm. of. So um, anything on there is is open for you guys to use everything you want. I think main paths are okay, but shouldn't we really be looking for behind the houses, behind the buildings? Mm -hmm. I will mention, I, as much as I didn't put too much detail, these main roads are exactly that main roads, but they're all kind yeah. of smaller roads behind the house. That's how we have these houses down here that aren't yeah. attached to a road. There are roads. Mm. They're just, I didn't draw them because they're annoying. Yeah, I, I was about to ask, uh, wouldn't that be trespassing if we went behind the houses? No. Is that is that the worst thing we've <laughs> done? <laughs> Trespassing, is that what you're worried about out of all of our acts of kindness? So good. Um yeah, for the most part, unless you're like walking directly through like someone's house or like right next to their property or something, there really isn't a whole lot of trespassing to really to deal with. If you've ever if you've ever been to a very large city, um yeah. where the uh the houses are kind of scrunched up together. Um, you can walk just about anywhere as long as you're not physically, like, going into someone's backyard or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm, I guess so. As long as, uh... Yeah, we don't take too long. Well, it might make more sense if, like, I don't... I mean, unless we just want to... We could also just be going or walking around. We are trying to, you know, trying to scout... Kind of yeah. hard to scout if we're out in the main thorough there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scrutinizing yeah. the questionable buildings. So theoretically, yeah. what I've just done, uh, you guys should be able to move this token. Uh, okay. So if anybody Ooh. wants to try and move it a little bit. There we go. Cool. Yeah. So uh, just kind of move it to where you guys want to uh, kind of explore. And we can go from, 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 from uh, the, the, there. Okay. Just right. Into, I know. See, I know those tracks. I know those tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the death place. I did nothing. No, you don't. Yes, yeah. I do. We drive. Do it. Them down. Just do it. <laughs> I've been Fucking waiting. Cowards. <laughs> um, is, is where is um Spitwick right now? Is he still in kitty cat form? Yeah, he's still trussing. Okay. Um, should we, is he, is he with us or did we send him? No, we haven't sent him anywhere. Can we send him oh, up? Oh yeah, somewhere? that's right. Uh, we were going to ask Reggie to like, uh, disguise him. Was it to like, uh, be more like wings. a cat? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to send, uh, Spitwit uh, out 
Uh, you can do that as well. Mm. Just tell me where you want him to go. And I'll tell him what to see. Yeah, maybe go, like, on the roofs of the houses. Well, but... if, he's, if he's got his wings kept in, he'll, yeah, be, I mean... he'll, he'll be ground bound. Cats can climb and jump. Yeah. 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 There. Yeah, have... depends on how hey. what. Depends on how far apart the houses are. Uh... Yeah, because cats can jump well, but not like uh, that well. There's right. A, uh, there's a little spitwit or yeah, spitwit token. And Imp, you should be able to control that. So yeah. if you want to send uh, uh, him off somewhere, just let me know. Some kitty. Yeah. Uh, first, I was thinking about, like, also just draw. Yes, I clicked off it. No, okay. Um, like, that way. Like, have him basically go, like, direction like that. And sure. have him. Right. So his spitwick kind of walks uh, behind the houses. Uh, first things first, cats can get to places a lot of people can't. Um, mm -hmm. And so as you are, uh, as spitwick is, is kind of if, going... If rooftop to rooftop is an option, I'll go that route too. It gives him a better POV. Yeah. Um, I'll say uh, if spitwick isn't using uh, uh, his, his wings, um, I'll just need some either athletics or acrobatics checks to get from rooftop because there is a decent gap between them. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, if, uh, if he's just going to go on the ground, no checks required. So it's up to you. And I will say he will see different things going behind the houses than he will going in the roofs. If that's the case, he may have to stick to the ground because a Tressum has stealth and perception, but gotcha. not, <laughs> but not really a very. Acrobatic Actually, feats. I'm not even sure if they gave cats acrobatics. Uh, well, how how does this sound? If it's going behind, uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Oh. Perception. Uh, keen smell will have, have advantage on that. Perception plus five. Can I just be watching the guy opening the barrel again and again? How many times <laughs> has he done it at this point? Uh, at this point, because basically what happens is this guy comes over and he'll like search through some bushes, come to the barrel, open it up, go, hmm, close it, and then he'll do something. And he'll, he basically has this loop that takes him probably about like three or four minutes, not even, like two and a half minutes, because uh, he didn't really plan out. Like if he'd made a larger loop, to go through, it would have been significantly less noticeable, but he didn't. And, and so, if, I, if he would mean that this is an issue, verse, he would be like, he would totally be a Metal Gear NPC. Yeah. Where did he go? There's just a cardboard box here. <laughs> exactly. Um, but uh, I will say, uh, go ahead and make me a stealth check. Unless you don't care if he notices that you're watching him. Oh, me. Yes. Okay. Um, the sheep is over there. 19. 18 19. plus 1. So, yeah. Um, uh, in the probably about, let's say, 15 minutes it takes for uh, the cat to go all the way through and, and, and could come back with, uh, with his report. Um, you see him do it probably about eight times. Jeez. He really uh, is in that. And he's making noise, yes? Kind of. Like, okay. uh, it's, it's again, he, he's not particularly good at pretending that he's working. So mm -hmm. he's making kind of grunts and approximations of what he would be saying if he was actually doing this. So it's like, oh, what was over here? Oh, there's nothing there. Well, it's, so it's not really, really like idea. words, but it's mm -hmm. mostly... Uh, what'd you get for perception for spitwit? Uh, perception is 15. 15, cool. And if it does, and two things, if it matters, uh, even as a trust him, he does have a client speed of 30. Uh, he can also, in trust him form, detect invisibility within 60 feet of, of his trust him form. Uh, 
remind me about the invisibility thing anytime I ask for a oh, okay. perception check because I will probably forget. Okay. Um, but that is very useful to have. Because it says within um, 60 feet of the Tressum, magical invisibility fails to conceal anything from the Tressum site. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, just always remind me of that. Cool. Um, so as uh, uh, as Spitwit is going, uh, question for you: Are you letting Spitwit just kind of do this and come back and report, or are you doing the? C3 I was intending to work. Okay. Uh, um, so uh, as he goes th 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 uh, through and starts looking uh, th th through things, Spitwick uh, is interested in things that. Uh, you aren't and seems to be uninterested in things that you are. So the longer that this goes on, the more kind of frustrated this gets because Spitwick is a great uh, familiar, but Spitwick is not a trained scout. <laughs> and so like Spitwick will focus on, oh, look, there's food over there or, oh, look, I could probably climb up that point. And so you're getting this really interesting. Thing. Hence the reason why I have telepathic communication. Stay on fucking task. But every so often, you will notice something, and you'll be like, Spitwick, Spitwick, go back, 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 go back. And Spitwick, like, you'll get this kind of feeling of, seriously, dude? Uh, but then he'll, he'll go back, and you'll start noticing Just things. your job! Uh, you'll start noticing things like um, this house here, the one closest to where you guys are, has people in it that seem... Uh, like any normal family would be if there's a bunch of like law enforcement officers outside. They're kind of interested in it. They're a little bit, you know, frazzled and everything because there's all these cops everywhere. Um, the other two houses here have people, because uh, looking through windows and, and doing other stuff, and then, again, as, as Spitwick focuses on other things, you go, wait, 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 wait. Go here. Check this out. Look at this. Um, they have people stationed at the doors and at a couple of the windows to make it look like people are in these houses living normal lives. But whenever the doors are closed or the windows are shuttered or anything, they just sit down and wait for their next interaction with the people outside. Um, uh, unfortunately, um, that's all Spitwick is able to see um, because a lot of these house are these two houses uh, in particular um, specific windows and uh, ways that you could view inside the building are intentionally obscured to make it so that you can't. The only reason that Spitwick was able to see what um, they did was because they are a cat and are able yeah, to get to some kind of weird places. Uh, very and then, small. This building here, um, as uh, Spitwick goes past it, uh, this building is completely shut down. All mm. the windows are closed. All the doors are c -c 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 closed. There is no, there is no way to see anything inside this building whatsoever. Mm. So that whole process took roughly about f -f 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 fifteen minutes. So. So what would you all like to do? And I'm assuming Smegwick, you inform the rest of the party what you what you found? Yeah. Again, despite the fact that you guys are probably in a location where normal law enforcement officers would kind of come over and go, hey, what are you guys doing over here? We just need to talk. Yeah, yeah, totally. No, we just need to talk. Can you put your hands behind your back? Yeah, no, these are my really cool friendship bracelets. They're metal and connected. Uh, um, and fuzzy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many cops uh, you've met that carry around fuzzy handcuffs, but whatever, you know? Uh, um, no, Arai whips out his. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get yours? <laughs> I got those too. wonder how that would go. So, um... Uh, despite the fact that you should be getting questioned, you're not. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys are at, effectively, the very edge of the quote-unquote perimeter. Yeah. Um, and you haven't actually broken yet. But everything that you know about securing an area, especially being a scout, this would have been kind of one of the things... You weren't really an urban scout. 
but you would be familiar with the process. Mm. Um, if someone was kind of hanging around the edge of the perimeter, they would at least be questioned. You know, someone would approach them. Um, and all the guards here seem to be just avoiding you. Well, not like actively avoiding you, but they don't, they seem completely uninterested in you. They all have very specific things that they have to get done. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. So, with that information, what else would you guys like to do? Do we want to try and work our way around to the yeah. mother tower? Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, so. Okay. So, I, I would imagine, do we want, like, circuitous, like, I'll go back to the map. Like, are we going to work with me here? Okay. Like, like something like that? Yeah. All right. So, uh, to get, uh, like, where where's the end point that you guys want to get to? Like, just here? Or do you want to actually get, like, all the way over here? Imagine if we're going to get around, like, I would imagine probably we'll go around more along this way. Okay. Right? So, Asking party if that's the way they want to go. So the first thing I need from you guys, go ahead and make me perception checks as you are going there. And this route in and of itself is going to take you about, because of everything going on, uh, is going to take you about 20 minutes. Uh, God. I'm rolling like crap today. 10. 10, cool. So am I. 8. 8. 20. 20. Arise, Arise is just hitting it out of the park. Arise is not even a wisdom-based character. Nope. But still, plus 4 in perception. Uh, Smugwick, what you got for me? 12, thanks to... I was about to say, uh, with Spitwick, you're, you're rolling with advantage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Got a no wisdom! Um, with... Uh, I'm in. I'm specialized in investigation. Uh, I'm specialized in strong. <laughs> <laughs> so Smegwick, uh, Reggie, and Owie, as you guys are going through, again, you guys are mostly focusing on ensuring that you're not going to get caught. Um, mm -hmm. And you're doing a relatively good job at that. Like every so often you guys will stop as as uh, a guard kind of goes past. And you guys, your your perception checks are high enough that nobody is catching you unaware. Awry, while all this stuff is happening, you are looking at everything but getting caught. Um, and you are uh, noticing other things like this tower here. Um, there uh, seems to be um, uh, quite a few areas that have been uh, magically... Um, uh, people have cast illusion magic to obscure windows um, so mm -hmm. that they look like just walls and the, 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 the things like that. Um, mm -hmm. And because you're able to notice the illusion, you, it's effectively translucent and you can see uh, uh, at least uh, two of the like half a dozen hidden windows there. You've actually seen people kind of posted there, but none of them have like they're not posted there with crossbows or yeah. longbows or wands to cast spells. They're just kind of standing there. One of them you actually saw was just holding a shield, um, mm -hmm. which I guess could be somewhat useful in a ranged yeah. situation, but not nearly as useful as an actual ranged weapon. Um, yeah, I, I would probably uh, know that. I don't know, Jody. Words can hurt. They're pretty ranged. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, very much so. So that's what you guys get traveling uh, behind here. Once you get to the road, this area that you guys want to cross is actually inside the perimeter. Um, mm -hmm. So if you want to could, could cross there specifically, um, if you just want to go across the road, I need stealth checks. Um, if you want to come up with a more interesting solution for how you're going to get across this heavily guarded area, heavily guarded area, uh, I just need to, you to tell me how you're doing it. Mm. I'm going to be stealthing. Would we catch less heat if we went a little, if we went one more way down? Further down, yeah. Or, or would it be about the is same? That, 
yeah, if Let's you probably get us outside of the perimeter. Yeah, if you want to go all the way down, uh, what uh, all that does is that it does increase the amount of time it takes for you guys to actually get to the tower. Like right now, it's taking about 20 minutes. Um, adding the addition of getting all the way outside the perimeter and then all the way back in uh, will add an extra 10 minutes to your time. Okay. Well, the job's a scout, not to get. So nope. I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a problem with that. Anyone else? Mm. Nope. All right. Nope. So as you guys are uh, going uh, outside to avoid the per 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 perimeter, um, uh, again, uh, despite the fact that while you guys are behind these buildings, you are technically inside the perimeter, you're not really getting harassed or anything. The few guard patrols that you find are not really that difficult to avoid. Once you're outside the perimeter, there's nothing. Um, and then when you come all the way back around, you start coming inside the perimeter again. Go ahead and give me uh, another per 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 perception check. Oh, God. 16. All Got right. a dirty 20. Reggie finally opened his eyes. 15. 15, cool. Aoi. Modified one. <laughs> Aoi, you are you are very, very good at ensuring that you're not getting caught. Yep completely oblivious to everything else, but you're not getting caught. Uh, for the rest of you guys, um, as you go past this kind of cul-de-sac down here in the southeast Kuka corner, um, uh, you uh, you notice again um, the uh, the windows themselves are relatively well b -b 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 boarded up. Um, Smegwick, you kind of know where to look, having seen what uh, Spitwit had seen earlier. Um, and so as you kind of look around and look for any kind of opening that would give you insight into what's going inside, um, you do see one or two people in that little three building Guga group, and they tend to be sticking right next to doors and things like that. As you guys go further so up... This one right, sorry, this one right here? Yep. Right down here. These oh, all three of them. Three houses, okay. yeah. Okay. The whole cul-de-sac. As you guys get further up, this grouping of buildings here, didn't mean to move that, um, this grouping of buildings here um, is significantly built closer together to where here you can like walk between the houses without too much difficulty. There's little paths. Here, there's really only one entrance to get in, and then there's this little kind of central uh, kind of uh, group space for all the different houses. Um, and normally, uh, in a situation like this, uh, that group space would, uh, you know, if there are kids living in the area, there might be a little play area, or maybe there'd be some, like, communal tables yeah. or something like that. But this is a place normally where neighbors would come to kind of hang out and stuff. Um, as you yeah. just kind of casually glance into the area as you're going p -p 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 past it, you notice that there is uh, a makeshift kind of fence barricade kind of thing uh, set up right here that would prevent people from getting into the inside and it also blocks your line of sight to see anything in this little kind of central m -m 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 meeting area but it's not mm -hmm. something that you've seen anywhere else um, in the entirety of uh, Exilos you know again this is this is the city this is the moving city you know they're they're all about performance spaces and this would be a wonderful performance space um so blocking sight lines and things like that is a very very unorthodox way to do this mm, maybe uh Spigwick could uh climb up there and uh get a cat's eye view of uh, the other side possibly uh and then you guys get uh as close as you feel comfortable which is about right there to what is affectionately be called the murder tower so because okay, that's what we were told because we said that would have it be with uh last time i checked by here i got really high on it mm -hmm. uh, on, on the uh, perception check or insight or whatever it was and yeah this is this is the only one that really would make for a good uh, uh use of like murder holes and things like that um and as you guys get close to it you can see very easy to see murder holes um uh, all throughout the, the tower, which again, 
towers like this would uh, like this is a this is a guard tower which seems out of place in Exilos, um, and it's a significantly older building than just about anything else in the area, aside from the house in the center and possibly this tower here. Um, all the rest of the buildings are much newer, so you would assume when it was originally built, it probably had a better use that would require defensive uh, things. Um, but then the city kind of grew around it. Uh, so that being said, what uh, what do you guys want to do now? Do we want to try and make it up to this one? To this area? Mm. I mean, it seems to be... I mean, it, it's the one corner we have yet to check. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go back here so people... You guys can move your... Like, I'll move you down here because I keep forgetting... Did yeah. that on purpose. So. Okay, we have giant green lions telling us where to go. Yeah. Um, did you guys want to check out the murder tower itself or any of the other buildings here? Or what do you want to do? Because you guys I have kind we... of casually glanced at it, but you haven't done any kind of in depth investigation. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, if I can investigate to, there, to, to more scrutinize. Sure. Uh. uh... If you'd like to use investigation, uh, investigation is, is searching for something specific. So if you can name something specific that you would be looking for, uh, I'm more than happy to let you use investigation. Otherwise, well, perception. Well, because what we were, uh, what I'm curious about is because of the point, what I'm investigating. You tell me if this is what I need uh, for. I'm wanting to see details oriented into this. Is this for the marines or is this for the aqueous to utilize okay um hmm. or is this was this uh, maybe this was already summed up before if it's like is this part of murder box because of the whole this the skull being sure you can you can look for signs to see if it's it's currently inhabited by the Tempest Sovereignty, or if it's uh, basically been hijacked to be utilized. And if it's, if it's being utilized like in the same way you've just described, like the people posted up and... Yep. Sure. Okay. Um, go ahead and um, make the investigation check. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. So, looking it over, uh, the thing with a guard tower uh, is it is specifically meant to be very defensible uh, and therefore very difficult to see exactly what's going on inside of it. Uh, and so as you're kind of trying to investigate as much as you can um, through a combination of your own viewpoints and kind of uh, encouraging Spitwit to kind of look in uh, directions that you c c c c can't, um, you don't see any indication that... Oh, I'm sorry. Should I have used advantage on investigation as well? Because I was I just presumed in on perception. I can roll again just to make sure. Uh, it's no. Dot my eyes. Okay. This is uh, this is just flavor. Okay. Um, uh, so as you're you're kind of l- 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 looking it over and, and looking for things, there's nothing that would indicate that this tower is being used for anything other than its intended defensive purpose filled with sovereignty soldiers. Like you've, you, you were able to see uh, a sovereignty soldier enter the, t -t 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 uh, uh, the, the tower. Um, and, um, yeah, as far as you can tell it, it, it seems to be being utilized for its intended purpose. Does that make sense? For sovereignty. Yeah. Which would be Mardukon right yeah. now. So, anything the rest of you guys wanted to do, 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 do while you're here? Or do you want to um, move on? And maybe uh, send uh, Spirit to uh, climb up the uh, wall, see what uh, he can see. I'm sorry, to do what? I uh, maybe ask Spirit uh, 
find the wall, uh, see if you can get a better view of uh, what's uh, going on. You talking about in that cul-de-sac thing with yeah. the barricade? Oh. Yeah. Uh, sure, because uh, he has a, he does have a climb speed. Yeah, so he yeah, he can get and, up. Yeah, and uh, one of us can uh, give him a little bit of a boost so he won't like completely uh, tear his claws apart. So yeah, uh, if you want to do that, just give me a uh, perception check from uh, yeah, uh, Spitwit. Uh, oh, I ask, uh, in, in this case, is still advantage because of Keen Smell or just a uh, regular roll? Keen Smell, I believe Keen Smell is only on smell checks, effectively. Um, yes. And because this is visual, it, it okay. wouldn't be affected by their ability to smell. Okay. It's not a smell check, this is a, a visual check. Okay, in that case, nine. Nine, okay. Aww. So, as uh, Spitwit gets up and Trey's going around... Uh, the first thing that Spitwit notices is the roof that he's currently on uh, was not built very well. Uh, and so he's up there. One of the shingles uh, gets dislodged and Spitwit has to kind of catch himself. The shingle goes off, psh, shatters on the g -g 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 ground and Spitwick is only able to just very barely get a glance down b -b before uh, people are starting to look up and seeing a stray cat in a place that it's not supposed to, causing damage to a roof, they start chucking stuff up uh, mm. at him, and Spitwick is forced to kind of run away. Uh, the one thing that Spitwick was able to see uh, for the briefest moment, uh, and I'm assuming you're still using his mm. eyes, yeah. um, you're able to notice uh, some arcane sigils on the g -g 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 ground. Mm. Um, and some strange kind of shimmering for a just brief moment before Spitwick is forced to retreat. What'd you see? Well, well, aside from him being a fucking butterfingers in his current form, mm -hmm. uh, there were some arcane sigils on the ground. If Spitwick had a middle finger, he would be sticking it up. <laughs> Yeah, well, truth sucks. Yeah, I just, uh... And touches, uh... Toe beans. <laughs> Noticing the arcane sigils on the ground, would I know what those sigils were for? Um, if you'd had enough time to look at them, absolutely. Oh. You, you probably could have, uh... Maybe not known the exact spell that they were meant to cast, but you probably could have gotten a pretty good idea of the intent of what they're supposed to be used for. Um, but again, it happened so quickly that okay. you weren't able to, to get a good uh, image. Okay. There's another there. Yeah, if you can if you can find another way to, to look at it, you're fairly confident you could figure out at least what their purpose is, if not the exact spell that they cast. So what do y'all want to do? Rai still watching the NPCs go through their AI <laughs> script. Comedy of errors, yeah. yeah. Someone, for, someone forgot to out. turn off the Sims. <laughs> you see one person in a pool slowly drowning since they took away the ladder. Oh dear. Drowning still? One guard talks to another. Oh. Sizbu Kata Nerko. <laughs> Dabaduchia. Woohoo. <laughs> Woohoo. Gnomes start coming out. Little red conical half going. Why do they need more of us? I don't get the reference. <laughs> mm. So. Uh. What do you guys want to do? Mm. Keep going. You can uh, move on. You can keep yeah. investigating. It's entirely up to you, good, good, good guys. I mean, mm -hmm. they have all these vulnerabilities that are honestly, obviously intentional. We've been doing all this, and they're not 
doing anything really in response. Nothing happened. I am so tempted to just walk up to one of these guards and just greet them, see what happens. You, like just yeah. do you already got arrested once. You yeah, but I was trying to sneak <laughs> while invisible that time. This time, I'm just trying to be friendly. It's different. It is different. You do also realize mm -hmm. the possibility one of these fuckers could be a changeling. Prob probably the ones with better acting than that guy. <laughs> like, if that one's a changeling, he deserves to be fired. Like, he yeah. needs to go back to changeling school. <laughs> or maybe that's his job. Maybe he's doing the he's he's his part is playing an idiot. No, no, I think he honestly is. One Trust guard me, is just I've been going through it very thoroughly. <laughs> One guard is just doing his thing, and then he just suddenly turns around and screams out, LINE! <laughs> <laughs> and back to one, back to one, everyone, back to one. Gerald, I swear to God, you're just supposed to look in the fucking barrel. No one cares about your motivation! <laughs> but I just feel it's like, see, if I, maybe I'm, I look at a barrel and what I actually see is like a loaf of bread. And I've been so hungry for this Gerald, entire time. how many times have we told you to shut up? Just do it. See, I just want to imagine just this one high elf in like the tightest black turtleneck and a scarf and a little <laughs> beret on his head. And he's the director. <laughs> no, you are supposed to be over here right now. You, you are extra. Way. You have no lines. Do you look at the script? Do you see the script? Do you see your lines here? I don't see your lines. Do you see your lines? All right, Gerald. Tells. That's it. Gerald, that's I... it. You're, Gerald, that's it. You're going into the tree. <laughs> You're going to be you the tree not, for this yeah, stage. You are not getting your voucher for this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, man. I mean, I still. I'm being f fully serious. I mean, I I just want to see what Absolutely. happens. Like if, uh, if if you want to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, you have uh, uh, you have your choice of four different kind of groups that you can approach. One the one uh, one of the ones that um, Arai has been focusing on is this dude that since you're at a different part, he's not rechecking the same barrel over and over again. But he has a very similar problem where he keeps coming. Uh, and looking around the same alleyway over and over and over again. Like, he'll go, he'll look through a bush, he'll, uh, he'll come and he'll look in the alleyway and come back. So you have that guy. Uh, you have a group of t -t 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 two guards uh, who seem to be preparing a checkpoint very poorly. Um, like, they have paperwork and stuff like that, and they keep kind of looking at their paperwork and then they'll look up and down and then they'll try and create some kind of barrier that forces people to come through the checkpoint, but it's obvious and easy to find ways around it that you'd never have to go through the checkpoint. So you have those two people. Uh, and then you have one final uh, p -p 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 person um, who actually looks like they're doing a good, 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 good job. They haven't repeatedly checked this as the same thing over and over again. Uh, uh, they've actually gone up and um, uh, questioned uh, uh, a few people that seem to live in the area um, uh, that just happened to be going on with their little lives. And they've he's actually gone up and, and questioned them and, and doing other things. He actually looks like a legitimately competent guard. He's an actual guard that does not realize he walked into the <laughs> reset. Okay, so, well, I... of those three different groups... Who do you want to approach? I want to approach the group that is very much obviously like in character mm -hmm. here and not trying to be real guards. And I'm just going to approach just I'm not even trying to be subtle or sneaky or anything. I'm just going to walk up to them like I belong and I'm just going to say, uh, excuse me, Khan, so do you have the time? Just to and see what happens. So just it's uh, the people setting up the checkpoint just to, to clarify. That's the group. You're uh, going yeah, for? like wh okay. whichever, whichever seems like the most. These guys are obviously following a script. Yeah, right. So, here. Um, as you go up to the uh, the kind of checkpoint uh, people, um, again they're going over, you know, uh, various paperwork and stuff like that, and they're setting up the checkpoint. And then we go, excuse me, do you have the time? Um, 
one of them uh, uh without thinking uh j -j 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 just uh uh just kind of spouts off oh yeah it's it's a uh, uh uh it's uh eight blah blah and then it kind of hits him and he just kind of turns and looks at you and, and i just and as soon partner. as he looks at and as soon as he looks at me he goes like oh thank you so much and then i walk away like it was just a completely normal interaction yeah. And so he looks at you and he, he looks at his, his partner and his... Um, the rest of you guys, go ahead and make me perception checks. Because I would assume you guys would all be watching with popcorn. Yes. Just everyone sneaking, like, sneaking their heads yeah. around a corner. The whole one Scooby -Doo. Uh, the other. Yeah, Scooby crunch, stack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so, so everyone is rolling perception, just not me? Yeah, because you, uh, you're focusing on leaving. They're actually okay, watching yeah, okay. what they're doing... Uh, my my back is to yeah. them, so that's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. My uh, actual runner perception shed say continues. Uh, I got an eight. There are multiple digits on, like there. I'm rolling with advantage. I got a ten. <laughs> I think I think I'm taking it from everyone else, just adding it to my dice. I got a fifteen. Okay. Okay. So, um, Owie, you are um um. You are uh, a little bit worried because as much as you guys are aware that this is obviously a sham, there's still that little voice in the back of your head that's going, oh, he's going to get in trouble, he's going to get in trouble, and then we're all going to get in trouble, we're going to get arrested, and I, I don't want to... It's that little voice in the back of your head that's like, no, you're a good person, you shouldn't be doing this. Um, and so you're really fixating on the fact that, oh, they're not going after him, we win, we win, oh, wait a minute, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Um... Smegwick, you are uh, f f focusing as as well on the idea of you know uh, that just little voice in the b b b back of your head of well, what if we screw this up? What if what if we accidentally do get caught by someone that's not in on this and we get put in jail for this and the tire th the thing and everything goes wrong? And so when uh, Reggie is able to g get away, you find it peculiar that it's obvious that they noticed that he wasn't you know, he wasn't supposed to be on set. Um, <laughs> but that's all you really uh, f f focus on. Ryan, on the other hand, as you're watching them kind of freak out about the fact that, you know, one of the actors just spoke to an extra and they were told that extras never speak to the talent. Like you're not, you're not supposed to say <laughs> anything to them. Don't even um, look at me. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> yeah. If you make eye contact with the talent, though, though, You'll get kicked off the, the set. Strut off, I strut off Tyra Banks style. <laughs> it will steal you what little talent you have. So um, you're noticing that, but you also uh, no, no, notice that the one guard that seems to have not gotten the message um, has uh, marked Reggie and is actively, uh, uh, not only is actively coming towards him, but he's approaching him from... Uh, uh, an angle so that Reggie will be unable to notice him until the guard is right on top of him. Ah, so you're watching, you're kind of watching, you know, the domino just teeter right before it connects <laughs> with the, 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 the dominoes. Could I possibly do any kind of perception check to sense that I am being followed or something? Um, uh, he didn't start moving until after you'd passed a corner, so you physically cannot see him. Oh, I'm that far ahead of him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. So he is around a corner. Reggie is around a corner and out of sight, and this guy is following him? Uh, around the corner and out of sight? Yeah. So. <laughs> and wants to get on top of him? Let's keep going. <laughs> No. What you can see from your angle that Reggie can't because you're mm -hmm. at a slightly different angle. The right. guy spotted him. Right. Realized that he shouldn't be there. Immediately right. started going. Reggie has gotten past the point where he can see where the guard is and the guard has right. temporarily lost sight. But he is booking it to get there as quickly as possible. Does that right. make sense? So sorry, my, yeah, it does. But sorry, my question was more towards Reggie. Where are you headed? Are you going back off the main thoroughfare? Thorough away now or my 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 idea because i wasn't thinking of like specific roads or compass directions or anything i am heading in the general direction towards the rest of you guys but i'm making it seem like i'm not just beelining it straight for you i'm making it obvious i'm yeah if anything it looks more like i'm gonna be walking 
past the corner where you guys are hiding. Right, but you're breaking off from that main road, correct? Effectively, if, if you guys are here, yep. the checkpoint that he was dealing with was here, so he okay. walked up here, and then he's coming back. That's all he did was this, this real thing. And Arai, just because you're a little bit further north than anyone, you can mm -hmm. see the guard way down here that is slowly moving uh, to get him. And Reggie has already gotten down here. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Yes. So so basically what I'm doing, like, so if I'm right there right now, I'm the red ring. Basically, my plan was I'm going to be walking, like, towards the party, but then I'm going to round, like, this corner just to make it seem like, oh, I'm still just going about mm -hmm. my business. I'm not I'm not bothering anyone. Oh, I, shit. I, We're not supposed to be here either. Let's go. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, Arai, do you have something that you wanted to do? Yeah, so the idea was to basically let him, let the guard and Reggie get far enough out of basically sight of the rest of the guards and then just kind of grab him. Define him, Reggie or the guard? No, the guard. The guard, okay. You can 100% no. to do that. Um, how, how would you want to attempt to get the guard? Like physically pick him up and grab him? Do you want to beat him over the head knock him out like what's what's what your plan the, what was the game plan here we're supposed to just scout yeah, this is a go. form of scouting we have to take we, him we, this is a form of scouting <laughs> ah, that is only exactly dreams, what only dreams going to only do. dreams okay. only dreams it's okay uh, it's oh, okay what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hi mrs reggie okay hi, hi mrs Brummer. All right, so... They, they called you Mrs. Reggie. <laughs> so anyway... She's thinking that's a closet. Oh <laughs> she's, just, she's just hiding in the closet. She's like, can I come out yet? Can I come out now? No! no, no you I'm playing my now. games, woman. They have a wonderful that marriage, I, I did not know that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, oh. So what I need from you is uh, uh, an athletics check with disadvantage because you're oh. going to try and do this uh, without being seen. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Wait, okay. Who are you talking to? Uh, Arai. Okay. You are Reggie. You are going to be blissfully unaware until Arai has someone in a sleeper hold. <laughs> With how well your perception checks have been going, you're a hundred percent unaware. Twenty-six. No, sorry. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Is it Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh I damn. Plus eight. I'm strong. So, um, as uh, um, Reggie, um. You get past, you go around a corner, you think, oh, good, I'm safe. No one can see me anymore. You kind of uh, beeline it. And as you get there, you go, okay, guys, this is a, where's a rye? And suddenly you hear, mm, 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 what? Mm, and you turn around and a rye very calmly <laughs> with a smile on his face just has this guy and she's slowly just kind of making uh, the area between her bicep and his, her arm smaller his. and smaller. <laughs> Is. <laughs> and yeah. and you watch as you sit there like... and he starts like reaching for a weapon and awry just very very calmly you kind of move his hand away from his weapons <laughs> and he's like, like and he's out Reggie just kind of like looks at the party looks at awry looks back at the party looks back at awry Am I the only one who finds that a little scary, but also a little hot or something? Because, like... Right, anyway. Wait head. a minute, how long has that guy been following me? <laughs> like, uh, I'm only just now finding out I was being followed. Yes. Uh, hot minute. Uh. Okay, great. Now, to prop him up somewhere and finish scouting... And then get the fuck out of here before someone finds him. Okay. We're really not scouted yet. I mean, as long as you don't put him in one of the, you know, designated search areas for the NPCs, he'll be or put a cardboard box I over him. I want to put him in the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not that barrel. God damn it. Uh, the guy's just going through. He eventually finds it. He's like, oh. No, what we gotta way? do just. 
Put him on a bench with another unconscious guard. Poured wine over him. Okay, I need I need Smegwick to vomit on them. <laughs> I, is there like a bush that we can just uh, come? Yeah, if if you guys want to hide the body, um. He's not dead, he's just asleep. He's still a body right now. Very, very asleep. <laughs> Look, I know a dead god when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. He's 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 resting. He's resting. This bird is dead. It has ceased to exist. It has gone to meet its maker. This is an X bird. Classic. Here's one um, to a uh, very uh, far off farm. Uh, so, uh, if you guys want to, <laughs> if you guys want to hide the unconscious but still alive body, uh, just make me a survival check. Oh, God. Anyone that wants to. Anyone, literally, everybody needs to look for a, pla a place to hide him. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chip in. Okay. Uh, Mother. Ooh. Okay, survival is the one path that I don't give a crap about because of my character, but I rolled a 15. Okay. Hey. I also rolled a 15. All Thank right. God. Smegwick? I'm pointing to a trash backer, apparently, because I rolled a 5. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, Arai has, has come over, and now Arai, being the very strong uh, person that Arai is, Arai's just sitting there, kind of, like, holding him up a little bit, and, like, gestures it like she uses his head to point uh for things like we got to do something with it so he points over there and you know everyone else is like oh, oh there's a bush over here and then smegwick's like a uh, puddle because the water like he'll he'll disappear in the water well it's not quite deep enough smegwick but we'll keep that in mind uh, i mean that guy over there is still drowning no, water it's been like 40 beyond. minutes i'm trying to give you the benefit <laughs> of the doubt dnd beyond holy crap i'm doing test rolls so, uh, uh, yeah, you guys find a bush and, and kind of hide him in the, 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 there without too much mm -hmm. difficulty. He's probably not going to enjoy waking up in the bush because <laughs> in addition to having a massive headache and hangover-like symptoms, he is also going to be stuck and prodded with various branches <laughs> and things like that. But uh, uh, especially since everyone is doing such a bang-up job of securing the area, you think there's no chance he's going to be found before you want him to be found. Yeah, I... Does it look like he'll be knocked out for a while? Uh, yeah, I mean, Arai is f f f familiar enough with uh, depriving the brain of blood um, <laughs> that... And oxygen. Pro probably around and hour, safe words. hour and a half. I've got some safe words. Um, Depending on his his constitution, some people take longer to get up from that. But he's big, stuff, tough uh, guard type person. Probably about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, they they don't hurt anyone these days. So now that you guys have a body count, uh, yay! I can count bodies. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you guys, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to continue investigating Murder Tower? Do you want to keep going north? Where, where do you want to go? Ooh. Before yes. we do anything, quick question. Sure. The So far from what we've seen, the guards that have been basically the sims around the tower and the gods that are... And the gods, the guards <laughs> that are obviously like just actual normal guards just kind of doing their job around the city... Are they my cat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrifying! I was go I was go the door I just guess. starts opening, and we're like, "I was guessing cat." Yeah. Um, the 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 sim guards and the normal guards of the city are they wearing the same armor? Uh, for for right now, every guard you've seen, other than this dude that uh, Arai has so ceremoniously hugged, um. All the guards, all of all of them are actual guards, um, but they're just obviously not doing their job. Thus far, you've only found one that seemed to be actually doing his job, and you knocked him out. But but strictly in terms of their uniform, exact same uniform, are, exact same uniform. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking his outfit. Cool. Ooh. So now he's going to wake up with a hangover <laughs> and mostly naked. Yes. <laughs> Just so I could ask, like, yeah, so, I want some scratches. Before you start undressing, I'd be like, okay, so what's the game plan here? 
Well, I look. have this lovely dress. <laughs> look, the, look, the way I see, look, the way I see it, if there's at least someone who looks like they belong, then it might make accessing certain places a little bit easier. When he regains consciousness and he realizes he's been stripped of his armor, they're going to be on the lookout for other guards now. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> hmm. So is he taking a longer sleep than we wanted him to? <laughs> well, I'm trying to see. If they find like a dead guard. A this, if they yeah. find a dead guard, that's going to be possibly Ar worse. Araya's already starting to pick a weapon. <laughs> Do I want to use... This one's pointy, ah. but I like the feel of this one better. And then there's always the pike. But then again, it has been a long time since I've used my hands like that, too. Huh. It's up to you. What do you guys want to do? If you want to put him, like, if you want to tie him up or put him in a place that will take him significantly longer to get out of, you can do that as well. well so, far, so far, so far, he has just been knocked out. Mm -hmm. Someone came up from behind him. That's pretty much all he knows. He can pretty much ascertain from whatever that was. He barely got a look of us and we're in disguise. My suggestion is keep him in nap nap time and we just keep scouting and we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. He remained in nap nap time with his clothes all the way on. This is, this is my pitch. Because <laughs> they will be okay. looking they will be looking for a they will be looking for a guard now that doesn't belong in this <laughs> contrivance of a of dinner theater. Yep. So just to give you guys all the information at this particular point in time, you still have a little under six hours before the oh meeting t -t 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 takes place. So because this guy's only going to be out for an hour and a half-ish, uh, you think he's definitely going to be awake before yeah. everything goes down. Yeah. If but you want to take additional steps to ensure that he just won't be involved at all, you can. You can, do, you can tie him up. You can put him in a place that he can't get out of quickly. Like, there's a lot of different things you can do. You just have to decide that's what you want to do. Yeah, maybe. Or you yeah. can go the awry, awry route and just kill him. I. Uh, nah, so I'd say just tie him up. It's very hard to, like, uh, get up when you're uh, bound from behind. I, I agree. Yeah, I so say we time, tie him up, but I still say I want to take his uniform. Okay. okay. Hopefully he won't be found. So securing him in a, a place where he's not going to be f -f found and he's not going to be able to get up um, is going to take you probably the better part of another 20, 30 minutes. Um, there's, there's a couple moments while stripping him. Reggie is like just looking at his face for a moment, like memorizing features for um, mm. extra disguising reference. Yeah. Just in case. So... <laughs> As Reggie is staring deep into his unconscious <laughs> eyes. Arise lifting it for him just in case. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I need to get the color just right when it's time. Okay. So, uh, you guys uh, hide him away. Um, he is t -t 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 tied up. Um, and now we are looking at about five and a half hours until uh, go time. So, do we want to continue along the path that has been written for you? Mm. Or do you guys want to go somewhere else? I also want to try and finish the scouting if we can. Okay. Yeah. So, um, as you guys go, uh, go ahead and give me uh, another round of perception checks, because again, you yeah. are going outside the perimeter. Um... You don't need to be super secret. Okay, okay. I'm begging you. Five. Got a, tw got a 21. 21. Five 14. for Ali. 14. Five. 23. Uh, 23. Cool. So, Aoi, you have mastered the art of not being seen by people who aren't looking for you. Um, yeah, and uh, maybe her a little bit of her tail sticking up. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you guys, uh, as you go past these two buildings themselves, um, you notice that uh, the buildings themselves are not, like, closed up like uh, 
the other buildings that you've been seeing, they just seem to be effectively abandoned. You see no indication of anyone being inside. Um, there are a few windows that are open enough that you guys can kind of look through and see there's just nothing in there. Um, they're not... Um, I can't think of the word. Um, they still have like plates and dishes and stuff inside. So it's not like someone has been evacuated. There we go. Um, they haven't been evacuated uh, or anything like that. There's just no physical people in there. Um, as you guys go a little bit further, uh, the same thing is true about these two buildings here. There's just no one there. There's <clears throat> nothing that's trying to be concealed inside of it. They're just two empty houses. Um, when you get up to this one, this one is giving kind of similar indications to some of the other ones where uh, the people inside are more likely than, than, than mm. not uh, guards or something akin to that, where they're just there to make it look like someone is living in the house. Uh, so now you guys have moved all the way over here. Mm. So with that, what do you all want to do? Investigate this. The big one? Yeah. Right? Everyone. Yeah, that, that building sticks out. Did you care? Yeah. I... So... Maybe use uh, some work for uh, reconnaissance. So this uh, particular Good building uh, is probably... It's not quite as tall as uh, the murder tower, um, but it is like a four and a half, five story to the tall building with various terraces oh. and the, the things like that. Um, you think it probably at one point uh, either was a very wealthy uh, residence uh, or uh, more likely than not, this might have been like a former uh, martial arts school and each one of the terraces was probably a place where performances and the, the things like that. As of right now, um, everyone go ahead and make me perception ch -ch 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 checks. I was kind of hoping you were going to say brothel. Seven. Well, there goes my, there goes my good luck. Ten. Ten, cool. Smegwick? Sixteen. Sixteen, cool. Um, so between Orion and Smegwick, uh, looking, uh, uh, the, 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 this over, um, especially for you, Sis Smegwick, uh, there's a few areas here where you would kind of expect uh god this is this is not political this has nothing to do with things that are going on right now you would expect these areas to be um secured because they are uh, offer really really great spots with very good cover to perform a lot of very mm. bad things and leave you wide open mm. for there but there really isn't anything there um arise you kind of uh look around and and kind of p -p 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 poke around you can see there are some areas on the inside that have uh intentionally been made uh kind of obscured so that you can't physically see inside um so it's obvious there's probably something in there um but uh you guys can't really tell what's in there because you know closed blinds, things pushed up against windows and stuff to make it so you can't physically see that sort of thing. So what would you guys all like to do with that information? Mm -hmm. Oh, Reggie. Um, yes? What was your what was your perception check? A uh, ten. Turn that into an advantage roll real quick. Uh, oh, I just thought oh. Of something. so just roll one more time. Yeah, one, and whichever one is higher is the one we will take. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, a little bit better. Um, because of and nobody else has any levels in rogue, right? No. Okay, just making sure. Because of your knowledge of Thieves' Cant, you recognize um, a uh, 
you uh, you specifically recognize uh, a, a symbol that generally uh, tends to uh, indicate um, for lack of a better term uh, stay away from here people are about to die effectively mm. you know this is this is the kind of international sign of a hit is going to go da -da 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 down here um, you don't want to be around here when it happens do I know if okay j just say one more time oh you just oh you wrote it down okay um, do I know instinctively that when I see this symbol on the building, is it marking this building specifically, or is it just kind of like yeah, an overall generalization itself, of this area? Because, again, uh, a lot of times in, in criminal uh, uh, enterprises, uh, one crime group will try to attack another Kuka crime group. Um, and because both of them would be able to understand thieves can't, they would never use a symbol to talk openly that, hey, we're about to do that. This is specifically a symbol that is used when some criminal organization is going to attack non-criminals. And they want to make sure that other criminal groups in the area are not going to be here and screw things up. So it's, it's a very, very rare symbol to see because it kind of implies a cooperation between different criminal groups that generally doesn't tend to be there. Um, right, but what I want to know is, like, because I see the, the mark on this building specifically, does it mean whatever's going to go down is happening in this building, or does it just kind of overall umbrella this general area? Generally, the idea you see this, you get out of line of sight of anything near it. Um, normally, like, uh, if, uh, like, an urchin was to see this, they would go three blocks over to ensure that they were nowhere near it. Um, okay, someone so it could that's be a, like, so it's kind of like an AOE symbol. Yeah, this yeah. is get out of the area because anyone in this area is either working for us or is dead. Yeah, oh, so. Because oh. if a rival gang or something comes in there, to ensure that everything goes the way that they, they want it to, they will kill them too. It's just, it's one of those things that we are about to attack people we normally don't attack. And bad things are going to happen. So for everybody's safety, if we get caught doing this, it's going to hurt the entire criminal uh, group. Mm -hmm. So let us, Before, let us deal with this. murder tower. Before I say anything, I would just like it stated that Reggie's been wearing the guard armor this whole time okay. that he oh. took off the guy's body, but he hasn't, like, done disguise self or anything. So he looks like himself, mm -hmm. mostly because both Reggie and I, Evan, believe that those sim guards would probably recognize, would probably remember that guy's face. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to use his face just yet. All right. Um, that being said, though, Reggie's going to see that symbol and realizing the context of it is going to return to the party and goes, um, guys, we have a problem. And he just points at the symbol. That right there is a marker left behind by some criminal organization. And it's a warning to let all the other little groups know that something bad and bloody is about to go down. Let us do our thing. Stay out of our way. Mm -hmm. Here's the, way, the weird... What he points to looks like nothing to the rest of you. Like, he just kind of points to a random corner of the building and goes, that symbol right there. And you're like, you're like the flower pot? What? There's nothing there. No, no, no. Above the flower pot. The, li the, little, the, little, the little scratch mark on the, on the wooden post right there. Don't look at the That's... flower pot. The flower pot's nothing. But that was from a cat. No, 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 <laughs> no. The one on the left. The the flyer for the pasta site. The no, pasta okay, no, here? more to the left. There's no left of the pole. We went all the way around. Like. <laughs> okay, okay. The the, the thing <laughs> like, I'm trying to say. Oh, you mean the Olive Garden? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the Olive Garden. It's the whole Olive Garden. <laughs> The entire restaurant is the marker. Yeah. No, 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 Basically, no. every time you see an Olive Garden, something bad has happened there. Like, that's, that's what it is. 
Yeah, in the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Re Re Reggie rejoins the party. He already has like a thing of breadsticks with him. And it's only been like a minute. All right. Basically, there's a Heard symbol there. Unlimited. They are. <laughs> there's a symbol right there that basically tells all of the little criminal gangs to stay out. Something bad's going to happen here. Like, here's the literally the entire underground might know about that. Yeah, but here's the thing though. You don't use this kind of symbol unless it's going to be for the entire area. Typically criminal gangs only ever like to go after other criminal gangs unless they're being hired by some other organization to do their dirty work. Yeah. But if something big's going down here, and you leave a symbol like that, anyone who knows it stays as far away as possible from this spot. What? What that means is... So could that be aqueous? That I don't know. What I do know is this. If that symbol is there, and there are people in this area, even after this symbol has been made, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. We need to assume that Everyone we see in this little area, this little big building intersection here, we need to assume every one of them is in on it. Uh. Run. It would explain why those gods over there were being so theatrical with their duties, because mm -hmm. they are being theatrical. So is a way is there a way for you to ask a question back to the person who made the cat scratches on the pole? Nah, I don't know who made it. I just know it's yeah. I just see it right there. I how long ago do you think uh, it was made? Can I do like an investigation to see how recent the mark was carved or made or something? Sure. Uh Yeah, investigation sounds good good good. Alright. I mean, logistically speaking, I think it would make sense that they had some kind of demarcation, if that because otherwise, it'd be, otherwise, this shit's all over the place, and people would think any well, would... think is a place of place of occurrence. Yeah. Right, I'd imagine after something occurred, they would like wipe it down or you know scratch it out or something. Yeah, but the f oh, which is definitely a possibility. It's the fact that the symbol is still here, though. Right, right, right. Yeah. That means that whatever plan is happening is still very much happening right now as we speak. Right, um, which, we, which we know just from, you know, the which, setup. Which from we what know, we know. Yeah. yes. What the thing is, is that it's the kind of symbol that's used. Mm -hmm. This is meant to steer away anyone and everyone out of the area. Mm -hmm. So by that logic, anyone we still see in the area, we need to assume is part of the job. Well, again, because it's Thieves Can't, only other criminals would know it. Yeah. So. Oh, that's true, yeah. And, yeah, the, um, guard, the guards wouldn't know. The the thing that really sticks out to you, Do Reggie, they? is um, you don't go announcing your hit before you do it. So anytime something like this is used, it's it's a r r really b b b b b b big deal. It means it's kind of a did a done thing. And they're just telling everyone it's kind of a, 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 a mutual courtesy kind of thing of this is going to happen. But the only people that could have made the simple symbol are other rogues, other people that understand that the, 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 the thieves can't. What did you get for your investigation? Oh, I haven't even rolled it yet. Oh, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Investigation... I got... Got a six. Six, okay. Aww, to be perfectly you. honest... Um, trying to figure out because a lot of a lot of times with these can't it's not like they're writing a symbol on something sometimes it's as simple as they you know turn the plants in a certain way or that and things like that are very very difficult to figure out how long they've been that way because it's, it's so mundane yeah it's the entire purpose of the thieves can't so yeah this could have been there for five minutes it could have been there for a few hours something like this generally would not be in an area for an excruciating long period of time like less than a day tops because again the longer that it remains there the more time an enemy of the group might think well hey maybe it's a good idea normally something like this shows up 
shortly before something's about to go down, basically long enough to convince everyone to get out of there before they're caught up in something they don't want to. So oh, oh. generally something like this is going to happen within hours of the symbol becoming visible. Shit. Oh, I just kind of realized the possibility of something that might be a thing about this symbol here. Uh-oh. Aqueous no the Aqueous Realm knows that they're they're the ones trying to go after this guy, and they know that we know mm -hmm. that they're trying to do this job. Yeah. We spoke with we spoke with Anonymous. They're mm -hmm. aware of Aqueous's involvement. They just we just can't really figure out the extent because again, changelings. Mm -hmm. That symbol right there. Assu let's assume that this was made by Aqueous for a moment. Mm -hmm. Because you don't use the symbol without... Because this symbol basically means stay out of here, a hit's going down, it's gonna happen. Who's the only people that are trying to actually kill someone right now? Aqueous at this moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. But knowing Anonymous and how skilled of an organization they are, I mean, they're nothing compared to the Aqueous realm, but still, in of themselves, they're pretty damn good. It stands to reason that they would understand what this symbol means as well. Aqueous is openly taunting Anonymous right now. They're basically mm -hmm. saying, hey, we're gonna kill this guy, and there's nothing you can do about it, so you might as well just stay out of our way. Would they know that uh, they uh, have info that uh, like uh, we've been uh, telling them. You know, knowing them, it, I think it's pretty safe to assume that they're aware of us standing right of us standing here right now, hearing every word we got. Mm. That's part of the reasons why I wanted to be so blunt and open with whatever we plan on doing. Because if they're already seeing us, we might as well put on a show. Mm. I mean, we're already slandered. We're already on the wrong side of the law. So we might as well make the best of it. Or I start sharpening your pike. Oh, we really should ask our like careful. Yes, sorry. Seat. I love that you just have a sign at the ready. We do need to like not gonna use any names, but we really need to confirm with our friend about whether whether it's just a dot dot the I, cross the T kind of situation. I want to make sure whether or not they've been the ones maligning who we are. Yeah. Yeah, I hate to say it, but between Aqueous and Anonymous, that's going to get confusing to say back back to back again and again. Yeah. But between the Changelings and just the typical assassins of the region, let's, let's all be honest with ourselves here. Anonymous wants us dead... No, they, don't a, they don't really want... But we, yeah, okay, they want us dead a little bit less than the Aqueous Realm. Aqueous doesn't give a crap if we die in the next five minutes or something. But with Anonymous, at least we have their backing right now because at least we gave them information info. about what's going on. Yeah, we gave them info which is valuable to them. Mm -hmm. I say... I say we touch on that goodwill of theirs okay. and we continue fostering something at least until everything gets resolved and then we just get the hell out of here okay that's, well that's not the that might not be the option depending on what we have to do next you understand mm. that right no i do but it's still a goal mm. i know but it also like if we run, other bad shit may happen this is a possible domino effect it's, believe me i want to run too but also i kind of don't um Okay, so let's let's let, let's let, wait, wait wait we should be spinning on wheels like this. Let's let's is there anything else we want to take a look at? Um I don't think so. I, I think we've honestly taken a look at everything. I think uh, what we got to do now is just take the info back to anonymous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if we you saw the info then uh, we definitely got to go. Yeah. All right. Then I say we don't waste any more time here. I will point out to you, you guys have not been given a method of contacting Anonymous. Yeah. 
Like, your one contact has gone off to do something yeah. that she didn't actually explain. Yeah. But how did we run into them the last session before our month and a half long hiatus? Well, you sent a he message to her. Us. Yeah. Oh, well, I she... did. Well, she oh, was following right. us, but Reggie sent a message. Yeah, that's oh. right. Oh, that's right. And then you know yeah, what? I'm can... I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do that right away. I'm gonna first make sure that I'm still in guard uniform, but I want to make sure no other guards see me as I do like telepathy okay. for a moment because I know that's gonna look weird. Don't do you guys... worry. If anyone sees you. I got you. <laughs> do we want to leave first? Nice. Let's say, do you guys want to get yeah. out of yeah. this? Yeah, let, area? let's leave the area. Let's like leave. Can, yeah, let's okay. let's leave this area. Here. So you guys get a couple of blocks off. Um, I'm assuming you're using a sending spell to talk to Esmio. Yeah, Reggie. While walking, he kind of checks around to make sure no other guards are watching him, and he pretends to be just kind of like scratching mm -hmm. his head for a moment. But as he does that, he sends the message to what's her name again? Esmio. Yeah. Um, Ezzy. Um, he sends the message to Ezzy. <laughs> Call her then the message, I fucking dare you. You have a nickname and I don't. It, it's hard to come up with a nickname when y your name is all vowels. What am I supposed, how am I supposed to come up with a nickname like that? No, I mean your nickname for her. I don't even get to call her a nickname. Last time I did, she brought... Now I really want you to do it. Now I really want you to do it. <laughs> You guys Reggie's watch as the sending like... spell goes up, his head just explodes. Yes. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> at, to, to move things forward function. a little bit, as you uh, attempt to cast the spell, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Maybe we're in the area of a, like a no I message. agree. Yep. If mm -hmm. anyone wants to make uh, an arcana check to kind of see if you notice anything that might be Okay. Interfering with that, you are more than welcome. Hey, all right, finally. A Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right, so both you two. So looking around, you don't see anything that would be preventing divination, like g creating an anti-divination spell, uh, a field, or uh, a spell that doesn't allow for sending spells and other things like the, 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 that. Um, takes a lot of of magical work. Um, mm -hmm. And there's just nothing around that could be doing that. Not even the possibility of, like, arcane sigils we walk by? No. Where you are right now, you don't see anything... Okay. You, you don't see any of them. Not even the beholder? I, yeah, if a beholder is looking at you... Everyone would make would it. It would make it very difficult, but you'd also see a beholder. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want to roll another perception, perception check for beholders, you can... But seeing your perception checks thus far, you guys might roll a bunch of natural ones and the beholder will be, like, standing right behind you. So mm, No, thank you. Then it might also be something that's happening on on Ezzy's end and not ours. Mm. Would we even be able to sense that difference from message The only sending? thing that you know is the way that the message works is you pick a target, you cast the spell. If the targets you pick... Um, is not the correct kind of target for the spell, then the spell won't cast. Like, if you try to cast um, uh, Detect Thoughts uh, on a grapefruit, it won't work because it only works on creatures, and a grapefruit isn't a creature, it's a grapefruit. Um, mm -hmm. It's the same basic thing. If you, you try to cast the Sending Spell on a rock, it won't work because the rock is not a creature. Um, mm -hmm. So... Um, or if you try to cast the sending spell uh, on a creature that doesn't exist, like your invisible friend Mike, the spell won't work because there's no creature to target. So all you know is that trying to target Esmiel isn't working. That could mean that Esmiel's dead. They could just be in a, a place that sending spells d -d 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 don't work. Um, they could yeah, have like simply we ceased docked. to exist. You know, if they're on a different plane of existence, uh, the uh, sending spell works significantly differently. Um, but, uh, yeah, all you know right now is, for whatever reason, trying to cast the spell is not working. Mm. All right. She could be in a protected area like where we're docked. It, it could very well be. Then you know what? I am going to have a backup plan. Um, what? Jody, what kind of 
portion of a, of the city are we in right now? Are we still in like this area on you're roll twenty? Or are we somewhere else? <clears throat> uh, you're a couple blocks away from the, the, this area. You're basically um, uh, the meeting place itself is just north of the center of uh, Exilos. So you're okay. still effectively in downtown, um, but you're a little f -f 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 further out. Okay. Does if I could does, think of a big city, I would, but I can't. So okay. Does Ezzy know where our ship is? Does she, she know? Literally came there. She literally yeah, came there. Okay. She was literally in she a rise bedroom. Literally came there. Yeah. Uh, time for us. And then slept with the rye. <laughs> <laughs> I came. What? <laughs> to this city. <laughs> um. Well. Well. All right. Well. I have a backup plan. Excuse me for a moment. Huh? Um, Reggie huh? is going to walk over to just a very open wall of mm -hmm. a building. J j can be any building, just as long as this side of the wall is in clear view of, like, just the open road and the open air. And he's just going to look around for a moment. And I'm assuming he's wearing, like, metal gauntlets because he's still wearing, like, the guard uniform. Yeah. or. Um, he's gonna take, like, the metal portion of one of his gauntlets, and he's gonna make a couple scratches in the wall, and ah. he's gonna leave a message in Thieves' Cant. Okay. Um, hopefully in plain enough view... Oh, wait, no, shit. No. Because if, if Reggie leaves a message, how do we know that Aquios isn't gonna see it? Yeah, it's one of the, the issues with the Thieves' yeah. Cant is anyone with rogue levels can see it, but... Uh, and pretty much, if you're a changeling, you're like born rogue. Shit. Yeah, my plan was I was gonna leave. I was that gonna is leave really a message. really racist. In... Not all changelings are uh... rogues. Because I was gonna say I was gonna leave a message in Thieves' Can that basically was important info come to ship. Um, I mean that could <clears throat> that could mean any ship. You, uh, I, again, part of these can't, like, it's not a, a written language. It's kind of an, uh, an agreed upon kind of grouping of, of different, you know, um, different things. And then there's also the kind of spoken version of it, which is kind of a double speak style thing. So right. if that's what you wanted to do is leave a message that you think if Esmeel saw it, she would know, hey, come to the ship, um, you can put something like that where it's encoded enough that like you're not giving you're not giving a, a an address or you know uh navigation coordinates or anything like that but if you want to right. leave a message like that where you think as we all will find it you can there there is also uh, the point that we were sent on a scouting mission per Esbiel's suggestion as well i'm willing to believe that she is intending to meet back up with us mm. Yeah, but my hope was that with what we know now, and because we're on a bit of a time schedule right now, I'm making the bet that if I leave a message in Thieves Cant, chances are she or someone she's affiliated with who already knows about us and our ship, because I'm assuming if she knows, the people she works with also know. And hopefully, since we can't send a message, someone affiliated with her will see the Thieves Cant know what's going on and we might be able to see her a little bit earlier than what was originally thought of because if I, we if we can do this way more efficiently we'll have more time to try to do whatever it is we need to do when the time comes that was my whole thought process but what are the chances that the change ones will also see that and die nowhere to go okay. are they on their ships dry dock that uh that they would know which ship to target? I, 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 again, um, without getting into information that nobody in this group has, because none of us have ever been criminals, mm -hmm. and if you have, just pretend that you haven't. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just going to say he understands Thief Cant well enough to be able to write a message that will only mean something to Esmeo. And okay. everyone else could read it, and they'll understand, oh, someone has left a message for someone, but we don't know how useful it is. Okay, okay. then that is so what I'm going to do. Right. I'm gonna so, after we... uh, he leaves his message, which is, again, it's it's not just like symbols on a wall. It's, you know, you move a plant over here, you make a smudge here, 
you know what it means. To the, the rest of you guys, you're just watching him do random things that don't make a lot of sense. Like he takes like a string out of his pocket and he, he puts it on uh, a flower and then he like bends one of the flower petals over here and then he does, you're just sitting there like, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Um, as you guys are doing that, you suddenly hear... Do all rogues have ADHD? <laughs> At that moment, just from the other side of the street, you just hear, yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, so as uh, this is all going on, you guys suddenly hear this really kind of loud c -c 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 commotion from the area that you guys have just been in. Um, a lot of people are m -m 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 moving around. Um, mm. And as you guys kind of look over there, you realize, remember how I mentioned one of the things about a meeting like this is they don't decide on the final details until just before it happens. Well, apparently no. the meeting has been moved up. Oh, mother. Because you guys can see a profession, uh, procession uh, coming in. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that is where no. we're going to end it for ah. today. As always, if you missed any of this, uh, I do upload all of these to my YouTube channels, youtube.com slash Trainer Jody. Um, in addition, I uploaded uh, my next episode of Essential Essence 20 uh, today, talking about the first role in the Transformers RPG. If you want an in-depth look on how to play that, go ahead and go over there as well. Otherwise, again, that is all for me today, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.